Good day and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something really special. A, we're doing chicken thighs on the flip-flop grill. And B, we're deb debuting a new camera. We'll see how that works. Welcome back to the Farm Cook channel. This is the place where you get to eat well, have fun, and hopefully learn lots, especially about low carb and keto cooking. So now let's get ready and make some dinner. Here we have some chicken leg quarters that were on sale for 99 cents a pound. Can't resist a deal like that. This is gonna be the awesome chicken quarter cook. This flip-flop grill does a, an amazing job. And it's super easy. You just season these guys really basically. That's it. All we have to do is keep track of these guys, keep them flipping and flopping until they're done. All I did was dry brine these guys with a little bit of kosher salt. And that's gonna make these so yummy, so delicious. The skin is gonna get super crisp. I can't wait. It's a lovely evening here in the neighborhood. It's been a really hot weekend, thought, Let's cook something outside instead of adding heat to the inside of the house. So and these guys are on sale. So I've got some briquettes in the cooker as well as a couple of chunks of uh, apple wood that are going to add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of complexity to the smoke. It's going to be good. All right. Time to give it a little flip. Give some love to the other side. There we go. These bone-in chicken quarters make an awesome meal. There's so much good, absolutely spectacular protein that exists on these guys. And especially if you're doing a keto kind of a thing, the chicken skin provides a huge amount of flavor as well as amazing satiety so that enjoying one of these can be extraordinarily filling and relatively low calorie. So, and at 99 cents a pound, I think this whole um, package of four chicken quarters was less than $4. Can't beat that. The only seasoning I'm gonna to add to this is seasoned salt. That's it. And the dry brine, of course. Can't wait, it's gonna be delicious. By the way, I'm not sure how much background noise is being picked up by the, uh, by the microphones. It's a new, a new rig for me. But there's a fish crow over my right shoulder that uh, is pretty talkative. And I'm not sure if you've ever heard a fish crow before, but uh, the way the call was described to me is that it sounds like a crow with a cold. That's a fish crow. And of course, as soon as I start talking about him, he quiets up. Oh well. I think it's time for a flip. See how things are doing. Ooh, yeah. That skin is getting nice and crispy. Man, this is going to be tasty. A little bit different perspective, I think. A 
This cooker does such a good job on chicken. It's, it's hard to understate exactly how good a cooker this is for chicken. It does great on steaks and sausage and other large proteins, but chicken, it sort of excels. And I think it's partly um, the direct heat as well as the fat dripping down and hitting the coals and causing little bursts of flavor to rise up and then contact the, uh, contact the protein. Just spectacular. All right, I think these guys are ready to come off. Need to get gloved up. Take these guys off the fire. Open up the flip-flop, great. And get these guys off. Very, very nice. I think they're done. So this is the finished product. It smells delicious. There is all kinds of juice running out of this and I'm looking forward to giving it a shot. Mm, mm, mm. There's a little bit of smoke, but that's it. It's just chicken that mm, is so good. You can still see their steam coming off. It's still very, very hot, but my gosh, so yummy. For something that was 99 cents a pound, this is pretty amazing. Give it a shot.